This is how to master Dr. Colors. Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Now today's video is all about the amazing Dr. Colors booster and uh, this video is going to teach you how to master this nefarious doctor so that you can never lose another match. Now before we dive into this jam-packed tips and tricks video, would you like to win yourself three free Dr. Colors SE boosters? Make sure to subscribe, comment and like this video. Now you may or may not know that Dr. Colors has two different variants. So we of course have the triple Dr. Diamond Extraordinaire Dr. Color. And of course, like you just saw for the giveaway, there is also a special edition version. So this will be in the SC and Legendaries category where you find your boosters in Matchmasters. Now, obviously, when you go into a new match of Matchmasters, you have to choose a booster. Based on these categories, the Triple Diamond will be weaker and the SC will be more powerful. Now, we're going to get into the differences and how to use both of them in your matches in the game. Let's dive in. So on the standard Dr. Colors, once you have have collected enough activation pieces and hit activate, you'll notice he throws down vials of different colored liquid to turn random pieces certain colors. This happens twice and the result is more matches across the board. So the SE variant does much of the same, just on a larger scale. Now shortly we'll be looking at my favorite modes and perks to use with Dr. Colors. But let's take a look at some of the most powerful gameplay tips and tricks to up your game with Dr. Colors. So once you've collected enough activation pieces and you activate Dr. Colors, you will see that the booster is definitely one of the slowest in the game. So like I said, the Vars of Color throw down pieces across the board and that makes you a ton of matches. And uh, yeah, it can be extremely advantageous. Don't worry about the speed of the booster too much because it's all about playing it in the right modes. Now, because of the way that Dr. Colors works, where he throws down colors to make super fast matches, it's really worth studying the rules of the mode that you choose to play. For example, if it's a mode where special pieces auto explode, this may slightly hinder the booster's power. This is because once the second Dr. Color activation has settled, you should be left with multiple special pieces. These special pieces can then be used to pop off across the board to build up the blues needed for another booster. Auto explode on special pieces will result in no special pieces once activation is complete and you'll have to manually collect your blues. Now this isn't always a huge problem but for some modes it will be so make sure you study the rules of the mode that you're choosing to play in with Dr. Colors. Now being a booster all about colors, Dr. Color Colors is super powerful in any mode that puts a particular highlight on different colors. So for example, if it's a hot color mode or perhaps it's got a score legend where certain colors give more points, then Dr. Colors will be super handy in both variations for those modes. But you can see here I'm playing hot color and when activating the booster, the yellow's first and then I guarantee you it'll be oranges next. There we go. So it always helps you out by going for those specialist colors because Dr. Color S is after all a color expert. One of my favorite tricks with Dr. Colors is timing the booster activation for the end of matches. So Rumble, Rumble Party and Showdown are usually best for this. And uh, yeah, I've used this time and time again to win big Rumble matches. This is because it's a super long booster activation. So if you wait until the end of your turn and the time is about to run out and you activate Dr. Colors, you'll see that it goes on and on, especially in a mode with auto exploding special pieces. It basically means that you'll extend your turn by a huge amount and this is even taking me over the line to win matches way beyond the end of the timer. Now, when you activate the triple diamond Dr. Color SE, then you'll see here, it does put pieces across the board, but compared to the SE variant, it's basically just turbocharged. So the diamond version is great in itself. And amongst the other diamond boosters, if you compare it to all aboard, or if you compare it to Checkmate Charles, for example, or even Woody Workouts, it definitely has its merits. And sometimes like here, you can see with the purples, extremely advantageous, a huge amount of points across the board and very similar actually to the SE variant. So it does have some traits that are very, very similar, but essentially it works the same. So if you're good with one of them, you're probably gonna be good with the other. Now, when comparing Dr. Colors SE to other SE and legendary boosters, you know, if you're looking at fast acting boosters like Billy Boom or El Magneto, then I would say Dr. Colors varies massively because those boosters give you lots of quick moves, quick activations. And then there's also the perpetual boosters like Mixy Meow and Sweeper SE, which really revolve around giving 
giving you more booster activations one after another. Where I'd say Dr. Color SE really works best is where you need to get big points with each booster activation. So like I said, modes with color legends, with multipliers, they're really gonna help you rack up big points with every single booster activation. So we've had a look at some of my favorite gameplay tips and tricks for Dr. Colors, the diamond version, and also the SE variant. But what about modes? Which modes do you think work best? Okay, so first up, Rumble. We've talked about Rumble in terms of how you can use the trick at the end of turns to give you extra time. But like I said, I really do find it a good booster to rack up big points with each booster activation. The hardest part is to gather enough blues to get yourself another booster. So you want it to be in a mode where, for example, it's a bigger board where there's lots of opportunities for extra moves because those extra moves are going to be what gets you towards those blue pieces and gets you more boosters. Next up, Knockout. I think Dr. Color SC works really well in Knockout. Obviously, Knockout, the latest mode in Match Masters where you actually have to use legendary or SE boosters. So Dr. Color SC, definitely a great choice because what it does is packs a powerful punch which will definitely demoralize your opponent. I mean, look, let's activate Dr. Color here and we'll see. Once we get all those oranges across the board, those special pieces are exploding. And then we get the second half of the activation as well. So purples across the board. Once again, those special pieces explode and that is a huge chunk off of our opponent's bar there. The trick that I've mentioned a few times where you can actually have a longer move with the booster activation. Well, this one's perfect because there's no time limit. Once the booster has been activated and it basically means that when you go for it, there is a long amount of time where big points are being scored. Another favorite is a mode like Gem Grab where crystal scores increase when matched and bombs also fall when the board refills. So in this particular mode, I found Dr. Color worked an absolute treat. So utilizing our clear perks to get ourselves our first booster activation with those gems, with the points across the board. If you can get Dr. Color to activate purple, then you'll see the absolute power of this booster. But even for this case with the yellow pieces, you can see those gems across the board with the extra points tally. It works so well because obviously exploding the whole board just gives you those big points. Now we've talked about modes with a score legend. So for example here, you can see yellows are worth five and purples are worth four. Now Dr. Color works really, really well here because once you activate the booster, so let's go for activation. Once we do that, so we get some greens. Okay, that's fine. They're worth two. But then second up, we're going to get the yellows here. And obviously they're worth five. And you can see there, my points rocketed with that move. So in one fell swoop, it's a super powerful booster. Now in terms of perks, obviously some modes are limited. Like the new knockout mode has limited perks available. So you have to go down a certain route. But when you have three choice of perks, I find Dr. Color works really well with anything that's going to help you to get another booster. Because like I said, my main takeaway with Dr. Color is that you get big points on the activation of the booster. The tricky bit is trying to actually get to the activation depending on the mode that you're playing. So for example, if you use the Cleo perk and the Star Maker perk, which is my favorite perks, then it basically means that uh, that helps you to get those blue pieces that you need. You put the Cleo perk on a special piece and more special pieces across the board, gets you those blue pieces, gets you another booster activation. Perks like the checkerboard wouldn't be as effective here because a checkerboard filling up with different colors, even with all those extra moves that you get, isn't gonna give you blue pieces. So you wanna really stick to just getting that booster activation. Okay, so that was a deep dive into how Dr. Color works. So to summarize, there is a triple diamond variant and an SE variant. Now the SE variant is just a souped up version of the triple diamond one. And I would say the diamond shines in daily modes, party rumble, and maybe even perfect heist with the SE working really well for standard rumble modes with a color legend, the new knockout mode, and really any mode that focuses on multipliers and colors. So let me know down below if you'd like to win yourself three free Dr. Color SE boosters. Make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe. And of course, if you have any tips or tricks for Dr. Color that you think other players would like to know, let me know down below in the comments section. I do hope you enjoyed this Dr. Color tutorial, and I'll see you soon for more content.